Okay, this is a, a video that is actually aimed at calculus students, but it applies to all the maths. Um, finding vertical asymptotes. So here's the first example. Find all vertical asymptotes. I want to clarify something to you that a, a vertical asymptote, but I hear a lot of teachers say a vertical asymptote is that value in a, in a rational function that causes the denominator to go to zero. That's not always the truth because if it makes the numerator, if, if you find an x value that makes the numerator and denominator go to zero, then you have a hole in your function. That's something a little bit different. So let's uh, clarify that a little bit. So let's work on this though. So this is what I'm going to do. When I'm looking for a vertical asymptote, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the denominator out over here and I'm going to set that thing equal to zero. So two times the quantity x plus one is equal to zero. You can, whoops, you can, well, hello, yes, is equal to zero. So we have 2x plus 2 is equal to 0. We have 2x is equal to negative 2. Divide both sides by 2, we get x is equal to negative 1. A quicker way to have done that was to, would be to just take out this factor right here, this x plus 1, and ask yourself, when does that x plus 1 go to 0? And that would be negative 1. And if you look here, that would be true, wouldn't it? If, if x was negative 1, we'd have negative 1 plus 1 is 0 and 2 times 0 is 0. So here is that vertical asymptote. The way you would draw this vertical asymptote in um, on the Cartesian plane would be relatively simple. You take the Cartesian plane. Here is your Cartesian plane. I wish I had used a solid line because the way that you usually show this is that you would make a dotted vertical line and you'd say this is the vertical asymptote right here, x equal to negative 1. And what we're saying here is that the function is going to approach this line here and not hit it. So, and we can talk about what that would look like, but that's not what the question was. But uh, I would suggest graph this, put it into your calculator, and take a look at what that looks like and see what it does. Let's go over this other example here, if you don't mind. Uh, this one, let's, we're going to just do a couple examples, just three examples quickly. So here's example two. Example two is this. We're going to have our function f of x careful here not to look like a prime. f of x is equal to x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1. Remember that what we're most interested in is this numerator here. So we look at the numerator. Hopefully you recognize this numerator as a difference of squares. So we have x plus 1 here. If you factor this out, if you factor this, this factors into x plus 1 and x minus 1 right and what happens here um, so we have ask ourselves the question when is x plus 1 equal to 0 and of course that is when x is equal to negative 1 so there's a vertical asymptote and the other question is this one here and we ask ourselves this question when is x minus 1 equal to 0 and it's when x is equal to 1 neither one of those values neither one of those values calls the numerator to go to 0 and because of that, our two vertical asymptotes are x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 1. And you would graph that just the way we did up here, right? So if you're going to graph that, you'd graph that here the, the same way, using the Cartesian plane. Okay, last one. Last one here. Last one. And this is uh, just a little bit of trigonometry here. And we want to know this. What are, the, what are all the possible vertical asymptotes for the function f of x is equal to cotan of x. And this sucks because it's not obvious. But what we do know is we have our trig identities memorized, right? Uh, and we know, so we can rewrite this. And I, if, those of you who have watched any of my videos know I'm a huge fan of the rewrite. And you can rewrite this. And you can we can say that similarly or equally true that f of x is equal to cosine x over sine of x, isn't it? So now we look at this and we ask ourselves, when is sine of x? So I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I'm going to pull out this piece here. I'm going to pull out this piece right here. I'm going to ask myself the question here. I'm going to say, well, when is sine of x? So when is sine of x equal to zero? And then what we have to know here, uh, we have to know here is when is sine of x equal to zero? All right, uh, and we know that this happens an infinite number of times. 
but we have to go kind of search for those things, don't we? Okay, good work. Hold on. Let's see what we have. Okay, I did want to provide some clarity, and I just had to think about it for just a second, what I want to say about this. So when does this happen? So here we have the, right here we have the unit circle, and we know that here that we have the point one zero here, and we have the point here negative one zero. We know that this is pi, right? So if we go from just really quick, because I might as well make it clear, if we go from here to here, we've gone pi radians, haven't we? And we have a sign value of zero, so that's for the button. We're not allowed to have that. So here's a vertical asymptote. But look, if we go pi more, we go to this this value here is two pi, isn't it? And we go right, we go to here, and then we get another one. We have look look sine is zero here. So there's that sine value. And then if we continue to go, I just want you to see how this kind of works if I'm not being clear enough. Now we've gone around again, right? Now we, ha now we have again and again and again and again. So this thing is going to take on this kind of look like this. And God, yeah, my drawing sucks, but let me just do it anyway. Um, so it will kind of look like this one. It'll go like this and go over like this. And then what you're going to have is what you're going to have is this thing over and over and over. I'm not going to draw them in. You're welcome. Um, what we're going to have is going to do this. Now we're going to do this. Halfway through. We're going to do... Sorry, that sucked. Um, come on, you know what? I'll make this better. Stay with me. If you're still with me, you're the greatest in the world. Appreciate it. All right? It goes like this. It wraps like that and goes back down like that, doesn't it? And these values that we have are... Right, this is this is pi, right? Sorry, that's sucky pi, but that's pi. That's two pi, etc. Okay. All right. I hope this is good for you. Give me some comments and please subscribe to my channel, please.